What's going on there, YouTube, and welcome back to another comic book video. Okay, guys, so we are basically going to continue our coverage over X-Men comics. And, of course, we wrapped up Reign of X, and now we're in the Trial of X era. Now, of course, we covered some of the books in the Trial of X era so far, like Excalibur and X-Men. Now, we're going to cover the Trial of Magneto. And this is actually coming out of what happened in the Hellfire Gala event. So remember, at the end of the Hellfire Gala event, we found out that the Scarlet Witch was murdered. Somebody killed her. And of course, nobody knows who had basically killed her. But of course, all the eyes and fingers are being looked and pointed to Magneto because he was the last one with her. And of course, he had a dance with her. But of course, Magneto does have some hatred towards the Scarlet Witch. Now, you have to remember, for years and years and years and years, when Stan Lee made the X-Men, Magneto, Scarlet Witch, all those characters, he basically said that the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are the children of Magneto alongside with Polaris. Now, of course, back in 2014, I want to say, we had the Axis event. And with that event right there, it was retconned to say, hey, Magneto is not the father of the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Now, that was more because Marvel and Disney want to buy out Fox Studios and get the X-Men rights back. But of course, at first, Fox said no. And so when Fox said no, you had Marvel do a couple changes behind the scenes. Now, with that being said... After you had Marvel basically retcon said that the Scarlet Witch is no longer the daughter of Magneto, well, Magneto hatred kind of grew towards the Scarlet Witch even more because now he's kind of like, well, I used to protect you from other mutants who had basically hated you because remember, the mutant race hated Scarlet Witch ever since the House of M event where, of course, she took away millions of mutants' powers away. And when that happened, some mutants actually died because they were using their powers while she took their powers away. Now, with that being said, though, because Magneto is no longer the father of the Scarlet Witch, he kind of began to hate her a tad bit. Not a lot, but a tad bit. But in the Hellfire Gala event, we saw him say, you know what? Even though you're not my daughter, you always will be my daughter. It was kind of like Magneto patching things up with the Scarlet Witch. And of course, it seemed like everything was good now. But then, at the end of the Hellfire Gala event, she's dead. And now, everyone is wondering if it is Magneto or not. And so, this is what this story is all about. The trial of Magneto. Did he actually do it? Where's the clues? Where's the evidence? Do we have anybody who actually saw it? And so it makes for a very interesting storyline. But in this video, we're only covering the first two chapters of the five chapter series in this video. So I do hope you enjoy. But then we actually pick up with X Factor. Now remember, X Factor is that team that goes around and basically investigate murders that involve mutants, no matter the country it is in. And so, of course, right now, with the Scarlet Witch being dead on Kakoa, and yes, she's not a mutant, but because she was murdered on Kakoa, X Factor has to come in and basically investigate and find out what had actually happened to her. Now, X Factor did have a series. As a matter of fact, we just wrapped up that series. But of course, they're still around no matter what because, hey, it's X-Men characters. We got to put them somewhere and have them do something on the island. But either way, you do have X Factor right now kind of looking around, trying to figure out how in the world is it possible for somebody to kill the Scarlet Witch? How in the world were they actually able to sneak up on someone who's a magic user, an advanced magic user, somebody who can really control reality so easily? And so the question is, though, who actually did it? Now, a lot of their clues right now, their finding is not adding up. Like, honestly, they have no idea who could possibly do it. Even though you do have some of them think it actually is Magneto, but of course, they don't want to say it's actually him. And so right now, they're trying to find different clues that could basically say, no, it was not Magneto. No, it was somebody else. The problem is, though, who? Who was it actually? That is the big question right now. 
Now, you do have half the team right now basically investigating the crime scene, trying to figure out are there any kind of clues at the crime scene that could actually help them realize how she was murdered, but also who could have possibly murdered her. But on top of that, you do have the other half of the team right now kind of looking over her body, looking at the different clues to say, okay, this is how she died. We found this on her body. We see how she died. There are the scars right here. Like you have two different teams right now working together, but separately to hopefully gather enough information, enough evidence to say who it actually was. The problem is though, every single clue they find on her body or at the crime scene, it continues to point at Magneto. It had to be him. Nobody else could have done this or that. It was Magneto. And of course, this is hard for one particular person. And that person is Polaris. Now remember, Polaris is the only person left now who can say she is actually the daughter of Magneto. But of course, there was a time where she was actually the sister to the Scarlet Witch. But of course, with that retcon, that changed. She's no longer the sister to the Scarlet Witch. But either way, though, she's kind of like, I still look at her as the my sister. But on top of that, even though she's not, she was murdered by my father, Magneto. And so, of course, now it's the X-Men and X-Factor saying, we have to go talk to Magneto because everything is pointing towards him. But then we actually pick up with the Quiet Council. Now remember, the Quiet Council is basically the government system of Kakoa. Now, with that being said, though, of course right now, they are basically discussing the idea of bringing the Scarlet Witch back to life. Because remember, when it comes to Kakoa, they have the ability to basically bring mutants back to life thanks to the Five. And remember, the Five is basically five mutants who have the ability ability to bring someone back to life by making them a new clone body and then Charles Xavier or somebody who is a psychic can basically download your memories into that new clone body. Now with that being said though of course right now they're talking about the idea of bringing back the Scarlet Witch but the problem is though the Scarlet Witch is not a mutant and the resurrection process is only made for mutants, not for non-mutants. And so, of course, you have Magneto kind of asking the Quiet Council to go ahead and approve this, but of course you have a lot of members of the Quiet Council basically say no for two reasons. The first is the idea that basically she is not a mutant, but on top of that, she is a pretender, but also because basically House of Elm. Because again, the Scarlet Witch basically took away a lot of mutant abilities right after that event right there. And so, of course, you still have a lot of characters hate her for it, even though they got their powers back. But either way, though, it's the Quiet Council telling Magneto that basically, no, we are not going to bring the Scarlet Witch back to life. And of course, he is very angry about this and he walks away. But did we actually pick up with Magneto being confronted by X-Factor and X-Men? And of course, because they found all the different evidence that basically shows that it was Magneto, the one who had basically killed the Scarlet Witch, they're kind of like, hey, we got to bring you in because you're the reason why she's dead. You're the one who basically killed the Scarlet Witch. So Magneto, we have to bring you in. So please come in nice and quiet. But of course, you have Magneto like, no. I will not come in because this is Magneto basically telling us that he knows he was not the one who had killed the Scarlet Witch. But of course, with all the evidence right now pointing to him, it's kind of like, dude, you have no choice. Go ahead and give up and basically come in quietly. But we know Magneto. He ain't going to do that. Now, of course, with the death of the Scarlet Witch becoming public, of course, that means it's time for her family and friends to basically say goodbye. Because remember, in our last video, Excalibur number 22, we basically saw that the news announced the death of the Scarlet Witch. And so, of course, the public knows about what happened to 
the Scarlet Witch. But either way, you do have Speed come by. And remember, Speed is dating Prodigy, one of the members of X Factor, but also Speed is the son of the Scarlet Witch. And of course, he found out that his mother was dead. Then you had the Avengers come by. Because remember, she was an Avenger. And of course, with her death, it's them saying goodbye to her all over again. And so, of course, you have everybody coming to the island to say goodbye to the Scarlet Witch. But then we jump back over to Magneto fighting against X-Factor and X-Men. Now, of course, I kind of like this fight and the reason why for, well, one reason, I'm a huge Magneto fan. But on top of that, I'm a huge fan of the idea of showing off how powerful Magneto actually is because he's an Omega level mutant. And remember, Omega level mutants mean that there's no measurement of their upper limit of their abilities. And so right now you have Magneto just showing the X-Men and X-Factor why he is one of the strongest mutants on the island. He is not somebody that can be stopped so easily. But then of course, while the fight is going on, well that is the moment you do have another family member come by and basically defeat Magneto and of course that would be Quicksilver because remember Magneto was the father for years and years and years the father of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch and Polaris but of course with that retcon he is no longer the father of the of Quicksilver almost said Scarlet Witch again but Quicksilver but Quicksilver is still the brother to the Scarlet Witch and so he just got word that basically his sister Sister was murdered and of course he's very upset and he basically used his super speed to knock out Magneto now of course Quicksilver wants to kill off Magneto but Quicksilver is stopped by Northstar another speedster and say no don't do it just go ahead and cry it out but you cannot kill off Magneto. But then we actually pick up with the Scarlet Witch. Now, this is where things get very weird because of course she's dead. You're kind of like, wait a second, how in the world are we going to be able to basically pick up with the Scarlet Witch if she's basically dead? Well, this is why. Because right now it seems like she's basically stuck between limbo. Of course, between death and life. But of course, she knows that something had basically happened to her. And so right now, it's her saying like, I know I, I was killed off. I know I am dead. But at the same time, I realize... I am not dead. And that right there is very huge, which means, of course, this has to be a way of saying that she is in limbo between life and death. And she knows that right now she is between life and death. Now, of course, when we actually jump into the second chapter, we actually pick up in the mind of Magneto. Now, of course, to Magneto, it seems at first, like right now he's at home, minding his business, and about to read a good book. But then you have Magneto realize what's really happening right now. That basically somebody is kind of playing mind games with him. And of course, he knows it is Charles Xavier and Hope Summer. And of course, the reason why he he knows because Magneto has been around for years in Marvel Comics. He knows when somebody is basically playing mind games with him. And so, of course, he does tell Charles Xavier and also uh, Hope Summers that basically what they're trying to do is not going to work. And so, outside the mind of Magneto, we do see Charles Xavier and also Hope Summers trying their best to read the mind of Magneto, but to basically find the truth. Now, to Hope Summers, to her, this seems kind of like torture in a way. But for Charles Xavier, he's like, no, this is not torture. It's a way for us to hopefully figure out what had actually happened to the Scarlet Witch. Did Magneto actually kill her off? But then we actually pick up with the Avengers arriving to Kakoa. Now, this is actually something very important. And the reason why I say that, because it is basically the Avengers first time ever being on the island. And of course, they do get a grand tour of the island. But of course, they're here to get the body of the Scarlet Witch. Now, here's the thing, though. You do have the X-Men kind of realize that the Avengers cannot find out the big secret of of Kakoa, which is that the mutants found a way to basically bring themselves back to life 
thanks to the five. Because of course, that has never been shared to the entire world. It is basically a big secret. And so of course, if that secret gets out, it's going to cause a lot of problems for Kakoa, but also other nations around the world. And so of course, you have Jean Grey kind of say, we have to keep this private. They cannot find out that basically what we can actually do. Now, Emma Frost steps in and what Emma Frost does, she basically used her psychic abilities to kind of play mind games with the Avengers to show that her and the Stefford Cuckoos are actually right now kind of outside to sunbathing. But in reality, the Avengers has stepped into the area where the X-Men and the mutant race bring people back to life. Now, we do pick up with X-Factor still because it is X-Factor want to make sure that it actually was Magneto who had basically killed off the Scarlet Witch. And so, of course, they do kind of look around his house to hopefully find some kind of clues that could tell them, yes, it was Magneto who had killed the Scarlet Witch. But of course, they can't find any kind of evidence that said it was him. Now, of course, they do realize that one of Cerebro helmets is missing. And this is actually very important. And the reason why, because remember, with the resurrection process, the five is able to bring you back to life. But of course, your memories are downloaded to your new clothes body so what happens is that basically the x-men have a computer system in a way where basically all your memories have been downloaded to a computer system cerebro and so of course with cerebro being a computer system it needs to be huge but also have a lot of different storage areas to keep all the information or are all the memories of the different mutants across the mutant race because you're talking about the idea of holding up all the memories of every single person who's part of the mutant race into a computer system. You need a lot of storage. And so, of course, you have different storage units across Kakoa, but one of them is missing. And of course, Magneto was the one who had basically took in that storage unit. Now, of course, we actually jump back over to Hope Summers. And right now, she's the only person left with Magneto, which, of course, is a bad idea. And the reason why, because she basically does wake up Magneto. Now, you do have Magneto wanting to attack her, but he's all like, wait a second. I feel like there's something more to this. Why did you wake me up? And you have Hope tell Magneto, you cannot let the Avengers see the body of the Scarlet Witch. Like, get her body out of here. Do you understand? And of course, you have Magneto like, yes, I do. Okay, fine. I'll go. Bye. And he leaves. And so, of course, you do kind of have the Avengers. You have Quicksilver and the X-Men and X-Factor kind of walking around the island. And, of course, it's still the X-Men and X-Factor trying to keep the big secret about the idea that the X-Men have the ability to bring people back to life. Now, this is the moment where you have Magneto basically make his big move. And what I mean by that is you do have Magneto attack the Avengers. Because, remember, Holt Summer said, make sure the Avengers do not see the body of the Scarlet Witch and so of course it is Magneto right now attacking the Avengers but also attacking the X-Men and X-Factor trying to keep them away from the body of the Scarlet Witch now with that being said of course though you do have the Avengers and the X-Men and X-Factor say okay this is Magneto basically trying to destroy all kinds of evidence that basically proves that he's the one who had killed the Scarlet Witch but this is Magneto actually saying, no, I did kill the Scarlet Witch. It's like him actually admitting that he actually did. But here's the thing, though. By this point, you kind of tell Magneto was not the one who had killed the Scarlet Witch. But of course, it's Magneto saying it was the one. He was the one who had killed the Scarlet Witch. But he keeps asking the Avengers to leave. And of course, the Avengers do not want to leave at all. And so instead, you have Magneto say, fine. I killed her, just take me away. It's him trying to basically make the Avengers leave. And again, it's Hope Summer telling him earlier, make sure the Avengers do not see the body of the Scarlet Witch. And so with that, it's Magneto right now saying, take me away. It's him trying to continue the idea of making sure they do not see the dead body of the Scarlet Witch. 
But this is where we're going to basically end our video. And what I mean is that you do have Magneto just say, it was me, it was me, take me away. But of course, that is the moment you have the Scarlet Witch appear. And you're kind of like, wait a second, how is she here right now? She died. Like, she literally died. We have a dead body. There's no way whole girl should be alive right now. But she is. And, of course, it takes everybody by surprise. They have no idea how the world she's here right now. But, of course, she is. And, of course, this is a huge thing. And so now we kind of find out what actually happens to the Scarlet Witch in our next video. So with that being said, I do hope you enjoyed today's comic book video. And if you did, please hit that like button down below and subscribe. But guys, I'll see y'all next time. Later.